What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, United Lee Random. And yesterday, I did not wash my face on camera. Okay, let's be real. I did not wash my face at all. Why? Your girl slept all day. I took two melatonin gummies and I was out like a light. Hey, like a light. I slept through the flight. E. Um, so we're back today to just pop back in and start back washing my face. Because let me tell you, Rome wasn't built in a day and taking care of all of this, taking care of all of this take a little bit of time. Y'all might see Stu in the background. He getting ready to leave me to my own devices. You gonna come say hi? Are you, no, you, you can come, come in. You can come respectfully talk to him. Be like, what's good? Yeah, come respectfully talk to what him. What up, what up? I'm going to group. <laughs> Stuart's going to group. If you guys don't know what group is, I'm going to leave it to Stuart to explain it to you guys. It's group counseling. I don't know if y'all heard him, but he said it's group counseling, okay? It's group counseling. Yeah, that's what he said. He said it again so y'all could hear it come out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. You yep. speak for me. Acting up because we got an audience right here. Y'all tell Stubu he need to he better act right because after these cameras go off, who 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 are you? Oh, he said nothing. He talking smack, y'all. But just know he coming home to me. So I don't know what he gonna do. He gonna have to go to his counselor and say, I don't feel safe going home if he keep talking to me like that. So I got a new toothbrush today and it's green. So everyone say hello to my new toothbrush, green toothbrush. Um, but yeah, we're getting into the health care of it all. Your girl had a few slow days and she wasn't getting things done, but we're back back better than ever and we're gonna get into it right after this intro it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up y'all it took me forever to get to the intro part because honestly i forgot about it Stuart was doing too much okay just doing too much just always just uh, always doing too much but let me go ahead wet my face and then i'll pop back up and let's talk about talking about things how y'all doing first things first y'all know i like to know how you're doing how things going in your life now i also did not wash my face last night but you know what i did i took a hot rag to my face okay you know my face still feel moisturized. It still feel like I'm putting stuff on my face. I've been putting lip gloss on my um, lips as well. Because like I've been talking to y'all about, I noticed around my lips getting darker the more I use this product. Okay, this product said no discrimination, but uh, we only going to even the skin tone where you put me, okay? And you're not putting me on your lips, so I don't have to do nothing there. And I'm like, okay. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, my skin is doing really good. Uh, Stuart made corned beef hash this morning for me with some egg. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got a good husband. All y'all mans out there that keep talking about how y'all want to be with me, excuse you. You got to do TikToks with me. You got to feed me. And then you got to put up with me being a brat some of the time, okay? But it's okay because I'll also put up with you. You know, it's a, it's a mono -y mono thing, you know. But at the end of the day, I thought about something today, okay? And um, I thought about how many times I've tried to leave Stuart, okay? And I mean, before the relationship, during the relationship, I am a runner. I'm a runner. I'm a track star. So I will, anytime things get hard, I will want to run away, okay? Let the church say amen. Oh, it's just me? Okay, well, it's just me. Excuse me. I had a childhood that told me if things got tough, you walk away, okay? And that's one of the things, along with multiple other things, that have been affecting me in my life. And uh, I am quick to want to run away from something. So let me rinse this off. Now, the problem with wanting to run away as an adult, the problem with that is... You can't just run away from your problems, okay? <laughs> Honestly, you couldn't run away from your problems as a kid. And I don't even know why I still follow 
this train of thought. But when the going gets tough, and I feel like I'm not enough, specifically good enough, I want to get going, okay? And uh, we got this far with uh, every time I try to leave, Stu will stop me and be like, girl, where you going? And then the one time he didn't stop me, I was like, girl, where you going, okay? Sometimes I just gotta walk away from a situation because I will say some things that I don't mean, okay? But then I will say that I meant them because I don't take see back sees the words that I say. I don't care if I was emotionally unstable when I said them, I meant it, okay? Sober Aaliyah is going to say that she meant what unsober Leah said because at the end of the day some part of me must have been saying that for it to come out okay that is how I believe okay drunk drunkness is not an excuse not saying that I'm drunk when I'm saying these things I'm completely sober but I am high on the emotional anger of life okay you feel me when I am high on that anger <laughs> ha! when I am high on that anger well I am liable to say or do almost anything. Now, I'm not going to kill, steal, or cheat. What you just throw up here? You'll find out when you go to bed. Okay. Bye. Bye. But I'm not liable to kill, steal, or cheat. But, you know, your girl will say some mean things. And she won't turn the other cheek, if you feel me. So, um... In these situations, I am so thankful that Stuart does not let me go away or walk away from him. But also, he need to let me walk away from him too sometimes, okay? Like, I'm not talking about the end of the relationship. But when your girl tell you, hey, let me go in the other room. You don't follow her into the other room and tell her that she's running away from the situation, okay? I'm not saying this is a situation that we went through. I'm just saying, okay? Anyways, one of the things I wanted to say, because it popped into my head that today I talked to Stu, okay? And we were talking about some things, and I felt like he didn't he didn't really appreciate how I said things, okay? Now, this anxiety that grows up within me, it comes from childhood. You say something to someone, and they give you the silent treatment. My mama gave me the silent treatment for a whole month at one point, like, and I was literally, like, begging for her to speak to me. But, um... He wasn't responding to my text messages. So in my head, I'm like, still isn't the type to give me the silent treatment. But if it were to begin today, he is giving me the silent treatment and therefore he hates me. Okay. What if he left me at work? Okay. <laughs> I'm realizing how silly this may sound to you guys. But um, in my head, what if he got mad at me based off of the text message that I said because I wasn't, you know, in his corner completely or I was questioning one of the things that he was talking about because, like, it didn't make sense to me. Because people be, don't like to be asked what, you know, people don't like to be questioned. And I know that, but I still can't stop doing it. Okay, so I questioned him about something that he said and he was like... I'm not a child, you don't need to question that. And I was just like, well, sir, based off of what you said earlier, I felt the need to question that, okay? Um, so, like, nobody's saying you're a child, but I felt like he felt so offended that I called him a child that I didn't say, okay? So I was like, look, if you're frustrated with me, okay, I can understand, but like, I just really, I always try to explain why I'm asking questions in these situations. I just really wanted to understand where your mind is, so I asked the question. I'm not asking the question for you to be angry at me. I'm asking the question because I just want to understand. And I'm realizing that this is a trauma response, trying to explain your intentions all the time. Shit, let people take your intentions how they gonna take your intentions, okay? But still, I can't just let people take my intentions where they gonna take my intentions. I gotta explain you what my intentions are because you can't hate me because I didn't do something, okay? You can't hate me on something that I did not do, okay? Hate me on things that I do. Don't hate me on things that I didn't do. So, I'm at work and I look in the little camera okay and he usually parks at a certain place and I didn't think I saw his car there so I was like oh my gosh he pulled off he left me he hates me now he's not gonna be there when I leave I go downstairs and this man 
is knocked out in the space. I just happened to not see him, but he's in the space, knocked out. Didn't even read my text messages. But like, I was in my mind like, oh my gosh, what if he wants to leave me? What am I going to do? And then I told myself, well, every single time that I tried to leave this man, he would not let me. So like for damn sure, for damn sure, if this man ever wants to leave me, I'm going to be like, mm mm. Uh uh, you know how many times you kept me from leaving you? And then I also had this thought that once I start getting older, once these tatas go to the knee knees, and I'm about 50, okay, and like things ain't working the same, it just ain't, it's, you know, with age, you know, I'm not the same person I am right now. And he not the same person he is right now. But when that happens, he still better not think about leaving me. Because you know what? I be fucked. I... Mm, let me tell y'all my thought process real quick, okay? This might seem silly because, like, slick it is, okay? Let's take a moment to be like, yeah, this is a little irrational, okay? But let's be irrational for a moment. Stay with me. I'll be damned. Let the church say amen. I'll be damned if I spend 20 years of my life with a man. <laughs> spend 20 years of my life with a man for him to leave me because he is going through a midlife crisis. A midlife crisis? See, that's the thing. I can't be mon mon mononifical. I can't be mon monogamy for nothing, okay? Because, like, I know. Trauma response, right? I know. I know. It's something, like, I was, because of my childhood, I was rewired differently, baby. And I'm the type of person that really needs other persons. Okay, I need other people in my life. Okay, okay. People might be like, girl, you need to get over having people in your life around you all the time. First of all, I did not ask you, but if we want to do that, okay, look, I got too much shit to be working through than trying to work through my love for having other people around, okay? If y'all want to be lonely in life, go ahead and be lonely and call loneliness fucking self-confidence or like, oh, yeah, independent. Yeah, call loneliness independence, but I don't want it, okay? I want somebody around. I want to be able to turn around and have a conversation with somebody, okay? It'd be lonely out here for a pimp. Lonely. So anyway, long short story. Stu can't go nowhere. Mm -mm -mm -mm. See how many times I tried to lead this man? Because I was being emotional that day and he was like, no, we're going to work through it. We're going to work through it, me and you. Me and you, baby. Me and you, baby. Er, 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 forever for life. And I'm just like, sir, I wasn't even leaving you. I was just going to the bathroom. Calm down, okay? But um, after all that mess that we done went through to get to this point, we stuck with each other. Shit. We married. This one going on two years of marriage. Might as well be going on 30, because at this point, me and him must never part. Mm, mm, mm. You know this man had a roar. He had the nerve. We was in Target today. This dude was like, I was talking to him, and I was like, I think I'm finding out that I am a lot gayer than I thought I was. And he was like, that would not surprise me. And I'm like, Sarah. And I was like, well, what if that means that I turn to you and I'm like, Stu, I decided that I'm done with men and I want to leave you for a woman. And this man had the nerve, the audacity to tell me that he's actually thought about it. And I was just like, and I'm like, what is making you think about this? And he's like, the amount that you like women. And I'm like, 
does that make you insecure? And he's like, no. Nah. And I'm like, I mean, I, I don't think I would be insecure that if one day Stu decided that he was gay, you know, one day Stu came to me and was like, you know, I love you, but I'm not attracted to you in that way. And then I'd probably ask, ask him, okay, but can we still have kids <laughs> and be together? You know what I mean? Like, not necessarily like we don't have to sleep in the same bed, but you know, I'm trying to build a, a you know, a village. <laughs> okay. We don't have to be into intimate like that to be in the same family or be each other's support system because that's the thing. That's the thing. Support systems are magical. Let me just tell you guys. I love a good support system. Okay. And, uh, you know, so I don't know. That's a little bit of what was on my mind. I didn't necessarily plan anything. I had TikToks of the day, but then also I did not feel like doing the TikToks of the day. So you just got me as I am. I hope you enjoy. Okay. <laughs> um, much love and poor positive vibes and i hope to see you guys again someday like subscribe whatever you want to do as long as you're doing it with your girl you're not in the random 